what's happening everyone welcome back to discover the known dtk is what i call it for short my name is vanessa and today i'm going to touch base on another update of my 300 things um my list of 300 things that i want to come to pass in a year that i wrote five months ago and this is important um I made this update a little bit closer to the last one because it's one thing that I crossed off my list in particular that I, I was able to um, really pinpoint and realize that it, it, nothing else could refer me to how this happened but back to my list of 300 things if that makes sense. So I'm doing this video in my car today because what I'm going to tell you um, by speaking out loud about regarding this video um, it may trigger my mom, and my mom is home right now, so it's her day off. So she's home, and it, this could this could trigger her in many ways. So I figured I will tell you guys about it in my car. And I have to leave soon to get my kids anyway, so I was going to be coming out shortly. So let me just slide my chair on back and get comfortable. So let me first go to my list which i do have dog ear and i do not have to go in and find just like i did the last video i kept it dog ear and um i'm just gonna go through really quick to see if there's anything other than this thing that i'm gonna tell you about um that i can cross off as well so i will be right back so fortunately um for me i was able to cross off eight more things so i nine in total that i was able to cross off from my last update and um i didn't have anything in my car per se to hold my phone so that's why i had to come right back to you guys so that's another update i was able to cross off nine more things in addition to what i crossed off in my last video which i think was 20 so i'm at 29 now so let me get started by saying that delays are a blessing no matter how much you think that you know you you running out of time to do something because something came up it is a good thing it is god's way if you believe in god it's a god's is his way of putting you in the distraction that's going to save your life and or help or you know it's it's all all things work together so to speak so a distraction for you may save somebody else's life or you know it is connected whereas though if you don't see how it helped you do you have to understand that it worked for somebody else and um it's it's just it's funny because i was preaching this to my um ultrasound tech i recently had a doctor's appointment that i was so excited about it was my first ultrasound appointment for my baby um, who is going to be a surprise gender. I don't want to know the sex of the baby. So I'm like super excited to meet the baby um, at, at three months span. I was three months at the time. So I go to the doctor and, you know, um, we're, they're doing an the ultrasound. And in the midst of that, we're just talking and making a conversation, me, the nurse, and my ultrasound tech. So um, we started talking about time because as we're talking, we're relating to each other about our kids. And the, my tech says, um, yeah, I have two under two. I said, so do I. And she was like really um, going deep into her lifestyle, whereas though she expressed a certain amount of anxiety towards being able to move into the house that she's currently building as her family is currently in her parents' house awaiting for their house to be finished. And so I made a comment and said, you know, that's a good thing that, you know, you you have your, you with your family for one. And for two, don't be so stressed about what's not getting done on time or, or how you see fit in your timing because it's all in God's timing. If you believe in delays, delays are good. So the nurse goes, I never thought about a delay being a good thing. So I plainly make an example of, okay, look at it like this. You ever um, be somewhere like you're at work, say you're at work. This is my example to them. You're at work and you were been supposed to leave and, you know, something just keep keeping you around, whether you talking to a coworker for a long time and you looking like, oh, I was been supposed to leave or, you know, something so have you that way. 
And she goes, actually, my tech goes, actually, yes, that happened to me before where I was leaving work. I was headed to the train and I forgot something at work. So I turned around to go get what I forgot. And when I headed back to the train, somebody had just got shot. And if I was to keep going at that pace and not go back, I would have been in a crossfire. So I said, exactly. That's a that's 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 exactly what I'm saying. So that proves my theory of delays being good. So we we tripping off that now. We like, man, that's that's like for for me to make that example is one thing, but for her to relate to it in a way where she could say, Yes, that happened to me, is I, I feel like prophecy was fulfilled where I can I can um the understanding was understood. So um that was that, right? So I'm preaching to them and at the same time I'm excited. We're looking at the baby, we making relations and we, you know, we we saying things that we have in common about our children. We're joking about two under two. And I'm like, listen, when you get that house, protect your walls. Protect them because um my kids that didn't draw my set. I, I'm at the point where I could paint my walls now. And she was like, what do you mean? I said, my kids will draw on the walls like there's no tomorrow. So she was like, you basically saying keep the crayons and pistols out of sight i said amen yes keep them out of sight because i had to learn that way where i'm letting them express their so, themselves so much that they started then going drawing on the walls okay so uh you know we we laughing and talking right so i'm not knowing that what i'm preaching to them is 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 going to is is something that is going to be a part of my day i'm i'm about to be delayed in something so um I leave the doctor's office cool i'm happy like i'm good like i, I will show you <laughs> you know I, i'll show you a clip here i had to pretty much sit in the chair because if i'd have laid in that bed any minute longer i would have took a nap i would have fell asleep look at my braids don't know left and right one pointed to the left one pointed to the right because i don't know left and right that's why they look like that but yeah i would have fell asleep I would have been gone because the nap is calling me. Okay. And I want to give a shout out to all my pregnant mommies, mommies to bees, first, third, second time moms, first time moms, fifth time mom. Because I'm already three months and it took me this long to get in these places is backed up so you know can't complain i got to meet my baby but baby halfway grown like ma i've been in i've been i've been coming i've been growing what's up <laughs> and what's so funny is that um like i said i don't want to know the sex of my baby so um that while while they was doing the skin and i told him i said don't tell nobody but i might as well say because it was funny she i'm looking at this uh skin and i'm knowing i don't want to sex know the sex of the baby but i'm being nosy like i know it's too early to tell but i'm just looking right so it's say left ovary right ovary so i turned to them and i said boys boys don't have ovaries right i'm just in my head the boys don't have ovaries that's like no why i said so i'm having a girl and um they were like no these are your ovaries <laughs> like <laughs> i just thought that was funny so uh um, let me go ahead and show you that clip i'm so excited and funny i asked the lady she was like doing an ultrasound so when she got to my ovaries i was like i asked her i said do boys have ovaries she was like no i was like so that's a girl and she was like no these are your ovaries they died laughing. I'm like, please don't tell nobody I said that. Child almost had a heart attack. I was like, I do not want to know the sex. Um, mm. You know how you come to the emergency room and usually the bar is up like for parking. You don't have to pay. Don't you know today the bar was down? So I says uh, to my appointment lady at checkout, I say, you know, do y'all get vouchers for appointments because I don't have no money like cash wise or like i got my apple pay like on my cash app and i don't carry the card um because i lost it and i didn't think to order another one because apple pay does what it needs to do so she says um 
you know, just press the intercom and let them know they should they should let you know. Well, they they must be tired of people in their stories because when I pressed that intercom, that thing shot right up. I said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you today and, and for everything you about to do because they knew I wasn't. They they already knew by me pressing that intercom button, it must be a thing like we don't even we not even try to hear it. We not even try to hear it. Just going just just gonna let it up just go we rev you just go so and overall i had a good visit so here's why i was delayed in time after my doctor's appointment i had my day set that i had to do my laundry i had to do um i had to go to the market i had to get cash back from the market i had to go to the dollar store and i had to go to either walmart or target i'm not sure this was um last this was earlier this month no this november this was last month this was october so um i'm like okay everything's going fine until i get to the cash back part at the market so um i'm doing i'm doing the the cash back right this is where i'm delayed in time i'm in the self checkout and by me being in self checkout, I am on the edge of self checkout where I guess to the woman it looked like I had just started, but I was still I was just finishing up. And this woman taps me on the shoulder and said, "Ma'am, you have to wait your turn." And I said, "Well, what do you mean I'm finished?" Now, when she had tapped me on my shoulder, I had already clicked the option for the cash back, put the money amount in, and before your cash comes out, your receipt comes out first. So I grabbed my receipt when she had tapped me. And by me being so annoyed at the fact that she tapped me, but I'm in, it's, I'm in, we all in the calm matter, like me and her, she was like, ma'am, you have to wait your turn and i said but i'm finished already and so she got apologetic and was like oh you know i'm so sorry i thought you had just started and i was like no it's okay i'm, I'm actually on my way out the door after that i turned and headed i wanted to get out of there and i did not grab my cash so by me not grabbing my cash i i, I didn't notice it until because i'm so much in my head i'm like i'm like you know I'm, I'm immediately charging it to something in the, in the spiritual sense. Like I was, I was just talking about delays and I was like, God, why did that happen? Like, I know I'm not tripping. That happened for a reason. The lady tapped me as I was finishing and I was on the edge. Whereas though, as the line was moving, she thought I bumped the line. She didn't see me in line. When she looked up, she see me on the edge and she just thought that I had just started. And she, and she, you know, she said what she said. So I'm so focused on like, oh my God, why did it just happen? I get to the laundromat, which is what I went to go get the cash back for, to spend the money on the detergent and put it in the machine. I realize, I go back in my head, like I grabbed the receipt, but I didn't get my cash, mind you. The market is right across the street from where I go to the laundromat. So I head back quickly, but at, at, that, po at that point, I knew the cash was going. So, um, I just, sometimes I just go back and see. And so I did, I went back and I said to the guy that was in head in charge of overseeing the self-service line, I said, did anybody, um, return this amount of money from machine number so-and-so? He said, no, if they did, we would have it in this drawer. He referred to the drawer and he asked me which machine was it again. I said that one, we would to go double check and it wasn't there. So, um... I had just used another machine and got it back. And I mean, got it out again because I didn't get it back. And he stood there. He stood there saying, um, you know, you good now? And I'm like, no, but, you know, thanks for guarding me this time around where I, it's in my mind now when I come and do this, this type of thing. I won't it, it'll, it's going to always be with me, per se. I'm not going to forget to do that to make that type of mistake again at this point i am like now i'm anxious and um i'm overwhelmed and now i'm trying to stick my time management over again from when i first set out the house 
and I'm like, dang, what can I do now to keep myself on time to get the kids and still have a certain amount of errands crossed off my list? I'm just overwhelmed. So I said, okay, um, let me go home and get myself together for this package that I have to deliver today. And that way I don't have to go back in the house until I'm actually coming home with the kids. So um, I do that. And, you know, then I go to certain stores or whatever. And then I go to deliver the package. Well, one of the things that was on my list of my 300 things was to get back in contact with my father. The guy that revealed to me that he was my father when I was 16. Don't you know when I went to go to deliver this package, guess who was in the foyer of the store that I was going into to deliver it? I mean, in the foyer, meaning if I wasn't delayed in time, I would have missed him and he would have missed me just like that because you had we had to make facial contact to even recognize each other because if he walked out the store too fast or too early, then I wouldn't have, let me turn this light on then I wouldn't have um, recognized his face. We wouldn't have been able to make facial contact for me to recognize his face. So there was that. And, 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 and if you understand what I'm saying, you will understand that delays are serious. So I look and he looked and I said, hello. And from there, we made conversation. We catched up briefly. We exchanged numbers. I'm not going to go deep into that. The point of the matter is is that this was something that was on my list and God made it so that I was able to cross it off by being delayed in time. And if I didn't understand signs and being delayed and, and connecting it to what I know, which is like, it's not random. It was not a, it was not a coincidence. This is what, um, I pray for. So, and I let him know that I said, I've been praying for you. Like I've been praying to meet back up with you and God is so good. And, and so what, so have you, um, I'm 30. And like I said, he revealed to me that he was my actual father when I was 16. So imagine how many years ago was that, you know? And, um, it's a, it's a long story in between that type of time, why we weren't connected, but, the point is that I prayed to be connected with him again. And that is how it occurred. And that is how it occurred in the midst of me writing something down for it to happen in a certain amount of time. And, um, if you're out there and you believe in time delays and you, um, pay attention to signs, please comment and share something that you were delayed in time that saved you or saved someone else. Or made you come to a realization if that didn't happen, you wouldn't have this or what so have you. Because it is important that we share our testimonies. And this is my opinion. It's important that we share our testimonies. And it's important that we um, gravitate to experiences that we can relate to. So with that being said, um, I will continue updating you guys about my book my, my 300 things that i wrote down in maybe you know another month or so from now um i hope you guys enjoy my videos besides these you know my life in general my journey my career my um i'm sorry my business that i'm trying to build on and in the midst of that my actual vlogs of my life that i'm able to share with you guys and i appreciate you all um I appreciate you so much and if you have it please write down 300 things or more that you desire for yourself because you are worthy you are worthy of of living and not just existing you are worthy of having whatever it is that you want in this world whatever it is that you want um while you're here whatever it is you want to if you have kids if you have you know you, uh you still have um, the blessings of having your parents, your grandma, you are worthy of giving back to them. You're worthy of creating, of creating a, um, a source for them, whether that's a source of income, whether that's a source of fun, taking them out vacation, you know, you are worthy of having the people in your life be connected to your happiness. And 
I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, and I really appreciate you. But I'm going, you see it's getting dark outside. Turn my light on. So I'm going to go ahead and get going. I will probably make another video tomorrow for you guys. Or, you know, um, just in general. And my name is Vanessa, DTK all the way.